With some modifications done, let's go over what I've did. Extended the floor pan so it comes out further. And I still made the mistake, I was supposed to come out to here and return, but I still made a mistake of cutting it along with that bar. But anyway, I put that piece in there, learn to weld in here. Not the best, but it should work. So the motor will sit there. And I'll put that pan across the back here. So controller will sit on it like this and I've just put a fresh coat of paint just one coat for now and I made the battery box my original plan was under the steering wheel but there was no room for reaching the pedals then my next plan was about six inches above the motor about this high and flat but that wouldn't work either because if I have to get to the things underneath because originally I thought the controller could go here I wouldn't be able to get to it so that's the best option I thought fits in like that and the idea is that will slot in here but not with those wires because that's set to make 24 but either way this is not the pack I'm using so sits in level like this so it's in there so it sits up about a third higher than that so maybe this high all up all right that's the next stage the modifications how with the motor had trouble that as well because original sprocket in there it's hard to see would not fit the chain so i bought this one and that would not go on the shaft because it was round without those flat spots to hold it on the shaft. So I welded the back original cog sprocket to this one. Not very good join. And I welded the bolt or nut to that to stop it coming off. So if I didn't get this off, I've got to grind this off. Now my weld is not the best. But should work worse comes to worst. I push the go kart home. Oh, well, that's the next stage. I'm moving on to the mounting of the motor controller and all the wiring, and then see how far I get with that. Okay, this is all finished. Let's see what I've got going here. So I had to make that pedal bracket. Put a voltmeter in there. 57.9 the key now this is not the battery that I was talking about but this is the one kilowatt that I had on the electric mower so I've rejigged it to be the 14s and made a little holder for it very firm fitting but when I make the new pack it's going to be the nickel strip so I'll get a little bit more room here which is good because I want to insulate this a bit better than what I've done so no doubt wire for the power 50 amp fuse the wiring just comes through connects to the motor forward back switch and a little loom for the voltmeter here and motor controller a lot of things i'll do different but either way let's see how this works all right quite truthfully i don't know what to expect i do have back there somewhere these things for low gear just little connectors but anyway i'm too scared to turn it on might not work let's see how it goes nothing at the moment i'll obviously we'll get out and have a look it's possibly is the forward and back switch let's see Okay, they've made a noise. Hmm. I've got to change the plug over a bit because that was going backwards. Alright, let's see how.
Oh, it seems to be moving. We're rough on the train. Now I'm in slow gear. Seem to work very well. A bit noisy on the chain there, but chances are not quite lined up. There was a bit of slack on that chain. I would say that's success, wouldn't you?